Hello, my name is Stuart Bruce. I'm recording this video to test a couple of new PR tech tools I've bought as Black Friday deals. The video is going through ManyCam. I've been using OBS, which is a much more powerful tool, but isn't as easy or fast to use. One benefit of ManyCam is that I don't need to faff around putting up my green screen, as it does an okay, although not brilliant job without. I'm also using the desktop version of Big View as a teleprompter to read this week's That Was The Week That Was newsletter. I won't be doing this regularly, as it doesn't make much sense doing a video of a newsletter that is about links to other stories. Although I suppose I could edit it later to include links or even QR codes to each story. Anyway, without much further ado, this is That Was The Week That Was. Did you snag any Black Friday PR tech bargains? I spent a good part of Saturday having a play with a bunch of new PR tech tools that I bought in Black Friday deals. I shared some of them in a blog post on Friday, which I've just updated. I think most of the deals are available until the end of Cyber Monday on the US West Coast, so you've still got some time to get them. The first story is a Canadian reporter live streams his stream. One of this week's vital stories that was guaranteed to leak was a Canadian reporter live streaming his visit to the toilet when he forgot to mute his microphone. It joins the pantheon of hot mic incidents such as then US President Ronald Reagan's announcement that he was bombing Russia. It was in fact a humorous sound check that was recorded and leaked. And the then UK Prime Minister Gordon Brown's bigoted woman remark while still wearing a Sky News radio mic. That's from the Huffington Post. Never let a good crisis go to waste. Three companies thriving in the pandemic. Never let a good crisis go to waste is usually attributed to Winston Churchill. This is an interesting article that details how three CEOs have responded to the pandemic by finding positives in a crisis. This is in theconversation.com. Lies, truth, data and statistics. I remember years ago, Tom Murphy, who is now VP of Communications at Ring Central, saying in a speech about the future of public relations that most PR people didn't need to worry about big data as they hadn't even mastered small data yet. Tragically, it's still true today. This is a great article by Tim Sutton on the uses and abuses of data and statistics. That one's in Provoke. Coinbase preempts New York Times investigation by publishing first. I spotted this story on Twitter when Mike Butcher retweeted a tweet by Mike Isaac, a New York Times journalist. Isaac thought it was unusual and wrong communication strategy for Coinbase to publish its version of the story before the New York Times one had been published. He's wrong, as getting ahead of the story and publishing first is often a sensible strategy. Now companies have the ability to do so via their owned media channels, even pre-internet days, giving a negative story to a more friendly journalist was an established crisis communication tactic. I don't know enough about the facts, nobody does unless they are involved, to comment on the substance of the story, but even externally, I can see it was right for Coinbase to publish its version first. It was a story about its employees, so Coinbase had a model duty and practical need to tell them before it appeared in the media. Once it had done that, it was inevitable it would leak, so that therefore the only logical thing to do was to publish it first. Just to ensure balance, I've also linked to the New York Times story that the Coinbase blog post was preempting. PR Technology Black Friday Deals I've bought all of these PR Tech Black Friday deals, and I think most of them are available until the end of Cyber Monday, US Pacific time. Take a look at the blog post to see them all, but some of the highlights include lifetime deals for AirMeet, a fantastic online conference and meeting platform, Big View, a video recorder and editor with a built-in teleprompter for Android, iOS, and desktop. Publa, a powerful and easy-to-use social media publishing and scheduling tool. Happy Scribe, an automated transcription tool that also creates proper files for subtitling videos to make videos accessible and legal. It's on my blog at stuartbruce.biz. The Planning Diary. This is an interesting experiment by Carol Jordan, head of planning at ITV News, 
who has created a weekly newsletter with her predictions on the UK's biggest news stories of next week. I spotted this one on Twitter and by a Nick Walsh on Stephen Waddington's Marketing, Media and PR Community of Practice Facebook group. Her newsletter is on Substack. Twitter verification will be back early next year. The process used by Twitter to award its blue verified tick badge has always been mysterious and mired in controversy, which eventually led to Twitter suspending part of the process, including the ability to submit requests to be verified. Twitter has now started a consultation to make the more process more transparent before it relaunches it in early 2021. Most of the new criteria appear to make sense to me. However, I see two big problems with it, which I've fed back to Twitter as part of its consultation. The first is that many professional or business individuals who are already verified don't meet the new criteria. And professionals who are actually more notable, as they have far more experience, expertise, qualifications and influence. The second is that by verifying candidates in national elections in certain countries, Twitter is verifying some odd and not particularly notable people, as being a national candidate doesn't take a lot of effort in many countries. Seven Trends Digital Transformation Uses WhatsApp to Boost Customer Service Diginomica has an interesting digital transformation case study on how Seven Trent is transforming its customer service to meet the needs of its 8 million customers. WhatsApp has emerged as the channel of choice. Do you want to talk? Don't be shy. Why not get in touch for a quick chat on how I can help you modernise your public relations practice, including team skills and capability audits, measurement and evaluation, and the choice, purchase and implementation of public relations technology or PR tech. Just get in touch by my Stuart Bruce Associate website or my blog. I'm always happy to jump on a Teams or Zoom call.